Hello, so I decided to make you a video about Alexander Shulgin's synthesis of DMT, because drugs are fun. He starts with this molecule, indole, and adds to it oxaloyl chloride, which is a quite reactive two-carbon subunit. We see here the electrons pushing from the nitrogen through the indole ring and reacting with the first acyl chloride moiety. That gives us an intermediate, which is indole oxaloyl chloride. You had one, well, here's the intermediate uh, halfway through the reaction. The nitrogen has added onto the uh, oxaloyl chloride through the indole ring. Now a deprotonation returns us to a neutral nitrogen, and we have alkylated the indole ring uh, in that position there with the oxaloyl chloride. We still, however, have one reactive acid chloride moiety, and then we bring in the dimethyl amine. The nitrogen has a lone pair, which can attack the same group as before, delocalize the charge on the oxygen, push out the chloride ion, and then we have the second acyl chloride group added to, and we form our amide, like so. After that, we want to reduce it with lithium aluminium hydride, and uh, that's LiAlH4, I'll draw that there. The hydride ion leaves both of its electrons, attacks the carbonyl group, pushes the charge up to the oxygen. From now, I'm just going to focus on that other bit of the molecule. And uh, we have a mixed acetal sort of group. The oxygen can form a complex with the aluminium in a sort of Lewis-based Lewis, Lewis acid behaviour going on. Nitrogen pushes that oxygen away with its lone pair and forms a reactive iminium ion uh, in the next step here. That is, of course, highly electrophilic and more than happy to accept another hydride ion and be fully reduced to a terminal tertiary amine. That's one of our carbonyl groups done now. We've only got to reduce the other one. Uh, so, same as before. We'll draw out the rest of the molecule now with the indole ring because it comes into play. Uh, so we'll have a hydride ion again attacking the carbonyl group this time down there. Pushes the electrons up onto the oxygen. Next step. We're going to form the same sort of aluminium Lewis base Lewis acid complex with the oxygen and the aluminium. The nitrogen within the indole ring this time can delocalize its electrons outside and push that oxygen away and form another reactive iminium intermediate, uh, another electrophilic intermediate, which is more than happy to accept a hydride ion at that position outside of the ring now. Comes in there, pushes the electrons back, ring regains neutrality, and that is both of our carbonyl groups reduced, and the final product is dimethyltryptamine, made from indole, acyl chloride, and dimethyl.